Typical groups allows you to complete takeoff on repeating areas or units throughout your bid. You will essentially create a template for the region of takeoff that will repeat, and then you simply count where the takeoff occurs. Typical groups are commonly used on projects such as classrooms in a school, patient rooms in a hospital, apartment units, hotel suites, or condominiums. To begin using typical groups, you must first go to the cover sheet within the bid. Within the cover sheet, locate the typicals field. Here, you can indicate whether this bid can use typical groups or typical areas. A bid can only be set to use one or the other, not both. For this example, select Use Typical Groups. The next step is to capture the takeoff for each individual area or unit. Navigate to a sheet with one of the repeating spaces. We recommend using enlarged unit or detail plans for repeating units and room types when these are available. Complete the takeoff on the enlarged unit plan. If you do not have an enlarged plan, just perform the takeoff on the regular floor plan, and then move that takeoff to the margin or copy and paste it to a blank sheet. Once the takeoff is complete, then we can go about assigning it to a typical group. To create a typical group, simply navigate to the conditions panel on the left, and then click the blue plus sign at the bottom left of the screen, just as if you were creating a new condition. However, instead of choosing a linear area or account, you need to set the style field to typical group in this instance. Now, give your typical group a name, usually the name of the unit or room type. You can then choose a color and shape for the marker, and you can also assign a layer to the group if you want. Then, click OK. You will then be prompted to drag a typical group frame around a set of takeoff. It also tells you that no takeoff can intersect the frame's boundary. That simply means that the typical group frame should extend completely around all of the takeoff you want to include in this template, and no takeoff should intersect the framing box. Once you've drawn the box around your takeoff, notice that the takeoff quantities to the left are set to zero. That's because on-screen takeoff now considers the takeoff on this sheet to be a template rather than actual takeoff. You will complete the same process for each unit type in the project. So let's say you're working on a hotel job with eight different room types. You would repeat this process eight different times to create a template for each unique layout. Now, let's use the typical group markers on the main floor plan. Select the appropriate typical group from within the conditions panel on the left. Click in the center of the corresponding unit on the floor plan and the takeoff that appears. After you put down the typical group marker, you might need to align the takeoff a bit. To do so, simply use the Select tool and click and drag it into place. If your takeoff needs to be flipped or rotated, you can use the Flip and Rotate tools in the toolbar on the right side of the screen. In a matter of moments, you can take off multiple units. If you feel that placing these units on the main floor plan and constantly aligning and adjusting them to make them match the floor plan is a bit cumbersome, you do have an additional option. Select the typical group from the list on the left and right-click. Then deselect the option that says Show Group Takeoff at Marker. This hides all of the associated takeoff for that unit and simply leaves the colored shape marker associated with that typical group on the plans. This leaves a visual indicator on the sheet that you did account for the unit and its quantities without having to adjust and align every unit's takeoff each time you place it on the sheet. If at any time you need to go back to the individual unit template to make changes, use the Select tool and double-click on the typical group marker. This will jump you back to the typical group frame, even if it's on another sheet. At this point, if you make any changes to this particular unit, those changes are then transferred to the takeoff on the floor plan. If you had 10 units on your main floor plan, you can merely make the change one time on the template and it's blasted out to all of the units, rather than having to manually make that same change 10 different times if you didn't use typical groups. The marker can also be used when you already know how many instances of a specific unit are on the plans. You can right click on the marker and select Set Typical Group Marker Count. Then, you can type in the number of units in the prompt that displays and press OK. You could do this for the entire job or do it page by page, just depending on how you want to see and account for the takeoff. Basically, OST then stacks the number of units you entered on top of each other on the sheet. As you continue to do takeoff, your typical group totals show as an each count on the left, indicating the number of units. It then also adds up all of the quantities for each individual condition associated with those typical groups as well. Now let's go look at the Takeoff tab. There are three different reporting options at the top of the window. 
takeoff totals as the default, but the other two selections give you more viewing options if you've used typicals in your bid. Takeoff plus typical group totals shows you each unit that you've taken off and the quantity of each unit taken off. It also shows you the total takeoff quantities for each typical group. Beneath the grayed out unit breakout, it shows the total takeoff for the entire bid. The other option on the takeoff tab is individual typical group totals. This view still shows you each unit and the count for each unit you've taken off. It also shows you the total takeoff included for an individual unit of each typical group. This view does not include the project totals at the bottom. You cannot get these reporting breakouts if you simply copy and paste takeoff throughout your project instead of using the typical groups or areas. Use typical groups to quickly and easily take off large projects with repetitive areas.